Shepard, good work on Horizon. Hopefully the Collectors will think twice before attacking another colony. It's not a victory. We interrupted the Collectors, but they still abducted half the colony. That's better than an entire colony, and more than we've accomplished since the abductions began. The Collectors will be more careful now, but I think we can find another way to lure them in. Ash said the Alliance got a tip about me and Cerberus. Was that you? I may have let it slip that you were alive, and with Cerberus. You risked the lives of my friend, my crew, and that entire colony, just to lure the Collectors there? A calculated risk. I suspected the Collectors were looking for you, or people connected to you. Now I know for certain. I told you I wouldn't sit and wait while the Reapers and Collectors gather strength. Besides, they would have hit another colony eventually, and without a way to predict which one, they would have abducted everyone. Back in the beginning, when they defeated the first Normandy, when they destroyed it, I guess that was already an indication that they were aiming specifically for me. So why this colony then? Because Ash was there? Because I was going there? And also because it's a human colony? Ooh, then the guy was right then. Ashley Williams is why the colony was hit. We have to make sure they don't abduct anyone else. I want the Collector stopped for that very reason. That's why we're doing this, Shepard. I'm devoting all resources to finding a way through the Omega-4 Relay. We have to hit them where they live. Your team will need to be strong, as will their resolve. There's no looking back. The same goes for you. Can I assume you've put your past relationships behind you? Well, it's not like I'm gonna see Ash again. Not in the short term, anyway. None of your damn business. If it affects the mission, better you should leave it behind. Shepard, once you find a way through the Omega-4 relay to the Collector homeworld, there's no guarantee you'll return. To have any hope of surviving, you and your entire team must be fully committed to this. Let me worry about them. You just find us a way to the Collector homeworld. I just want to be upfront about your odds. You'll need everyone at their best. I've forwarded three more dossiers. Keep building your team while I find a way through the relay. And be careful, Shepard. The Collectors will be watching you. I guess we're really gonna do it. Hit the Omega-4 Relay. Take the fight to the Collectors in person. Looking forward to the action. After seeing what those bastards did on Horizon, though, makes you think. Something on your mind? No, just... There's a good chance we're not coming back, even if we get it done. Gonna go take care of a little unfinished business. I imagine everyone else is too, getting some closure, you know? I kind of agree. I feel like, um, I know we got more dossiers. Tali, the Justicar, the assassin. Whoa, we got so much stuff! But I was thinking maybe we should be doing some of the individual loyalty missions now because especially with the increase in difficulty, because as long as we don't get the loyalty mission done, we're not going to be able to unlock that last skill, right? Right now, so far it hasn't really been a problem because we don't have enough skills to or at points to really get that many skills anyway. But eventually we will, right? Eventually. I quite like Incinerate, but Tactical Cloak is really what I need. How long does it last? Yes, lasting longer. Do it. Didn't get to use AI hacking yet because we really haven't run into any synthetic enemies, I don't think. Oh, man, we have a lot to think about. Why don't we finish up that storyline about how we should go to, you know, after the Jador Research Lab, they were telling me to go somewhere else. Oh, but you know what? Before that... Oh, we got so many messages. Holy crap. I want to feed my fish! Uh, hey. I saw the reports on Horizon, Commander. What you did was amazing. The report mentioned that Ashley Williams was there. How did that go? Um... This is what I want to say. But do I want to say that to the woman who has still not offered to feed my fish yet? <laughs> who might get jealous? 
Hmm. No, let's just... Let's be honest. We've been through a lot. I wish we could have had more time together. I understand. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Operative Lawson would like to see you at her station on the crew deck. Operative Taylor would like to see you over in the armory. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Okay. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Yeah, I feel like we should probably start knocking out some of those missions. Hmm. <sighs> it hurts, though, seeing Ash being so unreceptive to me. But that's normal. That's honestly normal, okay? The fact that everybody else has just been like, Shepard, it's you! I swear we got some lateral drift. The old Normandy never had that. Is not normal. Hey, Commander. It's, uh, pretty crazy the people you can run into out here, huh? I mean, it was probably a setup or something, but it was still good to see Ash. Operations Chief Williams, wasn't it? She moved on. I can't blame her. She was frontline with you blowing up half the Citadel, and I'm the one who gets roped back into saving the galaxy? What, did somebody switch our files? You're the force that pulls it all together, Joker. Yeah, it sucks. I'll give you that. I assume everything's going well up here? This thing wants to fire me over a joke! Okay, I said I'd flash the AI core, but I was kidding. <laughs> we'd only lose a few systems. Nosy ones. To clarify, human resources adjustments are not actually under my authority. Then why? Why are you always picking on me? My replies were intended to provoke, though not to cause distress. Your reactions are atypical of most humans. You are interesting. Oh. Interesting, Edie. Edie, were you intentionally egging him on? What part of your programming covers that? Nothing in the restrictions imposed upon me forbids active observation techniques. Mr. Moreau's performance actually improved under duress. I never figured the coming overlords would be so annoying. I'm just... I'm done. <sighs> Don't reminisce. That's a sign of old age. That's it for now. See you, Commander. I mean, to me... To Welland Shepard, Ashley Williams is a good officer. One of my OG crew. But... Like, for example, if it was like a... Like a... Male Shepard and a romanced Ashley Williams. That would be crazy, Commander, huh? received a new message at your private terminal. I'm just thinking about the impact. Or maybe even a femshep and a romance Caden. It'll be like double the betrayal. Oh my god. My fish! Still alive and well, and I still haven't forgotten yet. Thank goodness. Thank oh, you whoa. for your time. I'll keep this brief. We have a deep cover operative out in Batarian space. Name's Dr. Amanda Kenson. Dr. Kenson recently reported that she found evidence of an imminent Reaper invasion. So why call me? Just this morning I received word that the Batarians arrested her. They're holding her in a secret prison outpost on terrorism charges. I need you to infiltrate the prison and get her out of there. As a favor to me, I'm asking you to go in alone. Why? What's Dr. Kenson actually doing out there? She's a deep cover operative, Shepard. We talk only when we have to. I'd heard she was investigating a rumor of a Reaper artifact in the system. Her last report said she'd found it. What else can you tell me about the operative? Amanda's a top scientist and an Alliance agent working in Batarian space. It's a deadly assignment, and she's one of the few up to the challenge. She and I go back pretty far, Commander. I won't let her run away in a Batarian torture camp. I thought the Alliance denies the Reaper threat. Hmm. That must be some proof she found. Kenson's team found an artifact out in Batarian space. She believes it's a Reaper device, proof that the Reapers are indeed planning to invade. I've known her a long time. If she says she has proof, it's worth checking out. By the way, is this our first time seeing Admiral Hackett's face? I'm a little bit surprised by this video call here. I have a hell of a squad with me. I'm sure they'd help out. 
Jensen is my friend. If the Batarians see a squad of armed soldiers, they'll kill her. This is serious, Commander. Go in with discretion, or don't go at all. Do you expect that I won't be going in armed? Because that's not happening. The Batarians won't take kindly to the Alliance breaking into a secret prison. This is not an Alliance operation. It's one person going in alone to save a friend. If it were an official mission, of course the Batarians would be upset. You keep this quiet, Shepard, and there's nothing to worry about. Okay. I'll make this a priority. The prison is hidden underground in a Batarian outpost in Aratan. I'll upload the coordinates now. Once she's secure, confirm her discovery. We'll debrief you when you're back. Got it. Hack it out. Wow, what is this? Is this a DLC? That seems... Massive. Arrival? Uh, wait. Arrival is a DLC that I should be doing last, I think? So we'll ignore that for now then. Okay. Let's do some side missions! We haven't- we've been doing so many big ones because the elusive man just called me over and I didn't get time to do anything else. Gosh. Glad you're okay from Kate Bowman. Shepard, I called in some favors and found out how to get to you, or get you and what you're working on. We've got a big celebration planned for the anniversary of you and the others saving Terra Nova. Last year we added a memorial for you too. I guess that was premature, huh? I figure finding out who's attacking colonies is why you had to go undercover, so I won't invite you to come give a speech or anything. But I wanted you to know that all of us living on the colonies are worried about what's happening in the Terminus systems, and I'm really glad you're there to help. There is a lot of crazy military talk going around. I'm glad someone's there who's not going to take the easy way out. Thanks. Kate Bowman, the asteroid lady from the DLC? Yeah, the Batarian problems too. Mm. Thank you again from Martin Burns, Commander Shepard. Udina said this would reach you. I want you to know that I haven't forgotten what you did for me the day those crazy biotics took me hostage. Ah, oh, the CEO. You talked them down and you got me off that ship alive. I won't lie to you. I took this job for the pull and the power. I saw the biotics issue as a stepping stone, something good to put on my resume, and I was wrong. We all serve humanity in our own way. I don't know what you're doing, but I'm gonna see to it that humanity reaches its potential with a minimum of bloodshed. I'm getting letters of thanks from L2 Biotics who just received their reparations. Those letters should really be coming to you. I just thought you should know. Good luck. I've taken some political heat, so I don't know that any offer to help you would ever be useful. But if you need me, I won't let you down. Martin Burns, Chairman for Transhuman Studies. The subcommittee? Somehow this feels very, like, unrealistic and unbelievable because the thought that a politician figure, someone high up in a company, would actually do something good for the people is just... unbelievable. <laughs> From Robin Reeve, Commander. The Alliance soldier here gave me this contact information. I hope this reaches you. You said you were trying to stop those collectors. They took my son and my brother. Have you found them? Do you know where they are? I know you're looking, but so many people are just... gone. Every family lost someone. The children are the worst. Empty desks at the schools. Winter clothes I never got worn. Please, the Alliance isn't doing anything. The Council isn't doing anything. If you can find our people, I'm begging you to do something. Tell me something I can do. Tell me anything. Robin Reeve Are you someone who lives in the Alliance space? Do you have family in the Terminus systems? Yeah, I know. The Alliance won't do anything. The Council! The Alliance should be doing something though, because these are humans. The Council might be like, oh, we can't just save- we can't just go spend some resources saving a few human colonies. But the Alliance are like basically human only, right? So you have to help. Shadow Broker Intel to Shepard from Cerberus Information Processing. We're aware that your old friend Liara Tassoni has been hunting for the Shadow Broker for several years. We wouldn't mind helping her in that hunt, given the Broker's past work for the Collectors. We recently uncovered some information that might give Liara a lead on where to find the Shadow Broker's base of operations, but unfortunately, she doesn't have much faith in the Cerberus Intel. If you'd visit Ilium and pass it on to her as a gesture of goodwill, we'd appreciate it. V visiting? See seeing Liara? <laughs> oh. 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 Maybe we should put that off for a little bit. 
talk to Liara on Ilium. Why is she hunting the Shadow Broker? Well, we don't know because we've been away for so long. We don't know anything. Oh, okay. I don't think I got anything new. Hey, let's go back to the Citadel soon, okay? Let's get some, like, new stuff. Shield regeneration recharge. Yeah, I guess I'll keep that for now. The spare ammo capacity? I don't know if this actually does anything. I haven't noticed it do anything for my sniper rifles. It's still been at 10. Increases health by 3%. Yeah. Um, what's this one? Storm speed. Well, storm speed could be useful. Shield strength? Okay, fine. Well, we need to go back and get more stuff. Let's try a different material. Like a shinier one? Like a really shiny one? <laughs> oh, actually, if I'm gonna do some side missions, now would be a good time to try out the complete sets. This looks so... This looks like- oh, apparently this is some kind of like a Dragon Age reference. That's why it looks so medieval and stuff, I guess. Maybe let's try this one then. Terminus armor in the Terminus systems. But it only has one thing, increases storm speed by 10%. Which I already could have gotten from that one thing, that one part. So maybe it's not that great, but hey, we can try it. We can? On hardcore? <laughs> not so sure about that either. I guess we'll see. Hopefully I won't die. If we die, we're immediately changing back. <laughs> Normandy's cargo deck. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Shepard says logging you out, Shepard. <laughs> Shepard, I was just waxing goddamn nostalgic. Tough fight on Horizon. I fought slavers and kidnapping rings, but nothing like that. Some slavers took a little girl on a colony in the Skepsis system. Girl woke up, fought her way out, Got picked up by my band well on her way to Omega. Great. Eight years old. She'd have had no chance on Horizon. I was shadowing this rookie on an infiltration run to an eclipse base on Tatus. Good kid, but he had no business handling a rifle. In the shuttle on the way down, he puked in his helmet. We hit some turbulence, and with all the crap sloshing around, he thought he'd been shot in the head. Went back to the Alliance. Here he's a governor now. Wow. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Zaid has so many old people stories. He's a he's a pretty experienced mercenary. We should be taking him out more. Just a shame that he doesn't seem as well integrated into the story as other people, because he's DLC and stuff. Hey. Tell me something I don't know about you. Nothing to tell. Why? Hey, Jack has a thing in her ear. Is that like a... Like a hearing device? I want to know more, and I'm not going away. I'm here to fight for you. Nothing says we have to be friends, but whatever. Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink, or something else just as boring. You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. I could be genuine. You have no way of knowing. I have eyes and I have history. You'll back off. As soon as you realize you're not the first, and I'm immune to your help. Jack must have had a lot of people try to approach her. And then when she doesn't get helped by them, they get mad. Because some people revel in helping others in a very like... Hey, I helped you. I help people. I'm a good person, kind of way. I'll bite. What's with the tattoos? Some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. You know, good ones. Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. And some are because, hey, why the fuck not? Do you want a shirt or anything? I mean, you don't have to wear one if you don't want to. I just kind of feel... It's kind of cold here, right? You're in the cargo hold. You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. If you're asking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend, no. It's a waste of time and it never works. You let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Lonely and alive works just fine, thanks. Sometimes a knife doesn't even have to be physical. Seems like you miss it a little more than you want to admit. 
pick every little word apart if you want, but it doesn't change the way the galaxy works. Come on, you've been around. You're tough, but you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl, Manara, and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. I thought they'd help me. <laughs> right. They helped me into their bed. And when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. I knew where it was heading, and I got them first. Never bothered with friends after that. That sounds traumatizing. They sound like selfish pricks. That doesn't mean they were gonna kill you. I get feelings. I don't need proof. I did the smart thing. I always do the smart thing if people fuck with me. That's probably something you should remember. Good thing I'm not your friend. I have to go. But we should do this again. Wait. My turn with the questions. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? What's your game, Shepard? Because I want to see all your dialogue. <laughs> I've never met anyone like you. Whatever. It'll come back to what you can take. It always does. Later, Shepard. Well, later, Jack. Maybe I'll change your mind, but not today, probably. Go talk to Grunt. I get the feeling you guys will be good friends. I want to see that. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing that I feel like we got to see a little bit more of. Crew members talking to each other. Everyone feels like they exist in relation to me, but not in relation to everyone else. So, Kenneth. Did you know we've got a crazy woman squatting down in the sub-deck? What? If she touches anything, I'll kill her. Oh, and the only thing she wears from her waist up is tattoos. Oh, maybe I should go down and welcome her aboard. And she's a murderer, has biotic powers that could crush you with a blink, hates everyone in Cerberus. Damn it, girl. Stop toying with me. <laughs> if there's no risk, there's no reward. Go for it, Donnelly. Hi, Grunt. How are you settling in? Shepard. Just checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. The hold is too open. Not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Granth would target here to scatter heavy cargo. Then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. Like an encyclopedia. You only know because of the pages. What other human info is floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Salarian, Sasari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Turians, you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. <laughs> Uh, never mind. <laughs> Air quotes? That's like such an English thing. Something must move you. You're as genetically Krogan as you can get. I see suffering, the dead, and I think weak. I'm supposed to be strong. My guts were grown from thousands more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak. Pitiful. So you started small, but you became what you are. Not everyone gets that chance. I'm built for strength, but didn't earn it. I just am. Those dead were strong enough to try, even if they lost. The perfect Krogan, ignoring what made me. No strength in that. I'll take another look at what happened to the Krogan. Find a reason to care about it. Someone who grows to be strong versus someone who is born strong. Is there a difference? In terms of like experience, but you can get strategic experience from your imprints too. So what are you missing? What are you missing? Like a, a connection with other creatures? Is that why you have the lack of meaning here? Shepard. Just checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. Uh, humans talk too much. Like the tank. Come back later. That's all for now. Shepard. Didn't get to ask you about Okir, but okay. Go talk to Jack. Guys, listen to me, okay? Listen to your commander. 
and telling you it's a good thing. Now, Miranda is apparently looking for me. Yeah, we've got more room here for other people. More dossiers. I was just thinking about you. Me too. Because I walked over here looking for you. Edie has a wicked sense of humor. Or I should say, a really funny lack of one. Sometimes she seems like a person. But when it comes down to it, I can't get past her being a computer. This one security guy keeps staring at me. I think his name is Bert. I'm used to being watched by security, but they're usually staring at my eyes or watching my hands. I might have to start cloaking through the CIC from now on. Oh no. I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Does somebody on our crew have a crush on Kasumi? She is nice and mysterious. I can imagine why. Weren't you originally stationed on Horizon? Yes. If I hadn't joined Cerberus, I'd be abducted by the Collectors right now. Wow. You really dodged a bullet. Yeah, I couldn't take that. They creep the hell out of me. <laughs> With the reason you can't take being abducted by a Collector is because they creep the hell out of you, not because your life is going to be in mortal danger. Okay. Shepard, need me for something? You done calibrations? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? Oh my I'm goodness! Some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Why does Garrus have so little dialogue? I know we have more people here, but sometimes it feels like people have less dialogue than back in one. Because back in one, basically after every main mission, somebody had or everybody had something to say, right? Or am I misremembering? Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. Oh, I don't tell like me more. Discussing personal matters, but this is important. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. You remember what I told you about father building a dynasty? There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. I have a sister, a twin, oh. and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. Ilium? So you think your father's tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. Family? Your sister lives a completely normal life? What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical, but she deserves a normal life and she's going to get it no matter what. Oh, that's what Miranda wants for herself, clearly. Did your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. Yeah, sometimes we show our little biases in the words we choose to use too. I want my sister to have a normal life. Her family is normal. Because I'm abnormal. I'm an aberrant. I'm weird. I'm strange. I'm not right. And that's not- that's not a way to think about yourself, okay Miranda? You're fine, you're fine. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nos Astra docking bay. Ilium... Ilium... Uh. Before starting this conversation, I was thinking, yeah, let's go help Miranda, but Ilium. It's Ilium. Uh, I don't know if I want to go to Ilium. The cell system. Well, if we see it, maybe. Did you have more to talk about, Miranda? If we have time, I'd like to go to Ilium and relocate my sister's family. We do have time. We will have time. I'll make time. Can you tell me more about oh, no, 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 no. your sister? My father is after my sister. I've kept her hidden for years, but his agents have tracked her to Ilium. I need to help her. You remember what I told you about father? Yeah, 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 yeah. Dynasty? There was another reason I went. She's living a normal life on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden. My father, it, 
My contact's name is Lantea. Yeah. Could you imagine though working as an executive officer on someone's ship, not being in the first, not being first in command, and then having to like ask your commander for help, especially for someone like Miranda. She's pretty proud of her own skills too, so I think it's kind of painful for her to have to ask. But that's how much she cares about her sister. Ah, the weapons we collected, huh? Did you also have something you wanted to talk to me about? Commander, sorry I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. The yeoman said you wanted to see me. What's this about, Jacob? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back. The ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I've buried everything but a body. I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. I'd think you'd be more excited that your father might be alive. He wasn't around enough for me to have bad memories. It's an old, well-healed wound. But if he's actually alive and needs help, I also want to note that it's not normal procedure for distress calls to be routed to the Normandy. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Could it be a trap? Any signs that this is a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like, well, you. And whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors, or thought it would get under my skin. Who knows with that bunch. You didn't get along with your father? He made no apologies, I'll give him that. You make a mistake, you own up to it. Even if you keep making it. Whatever problems we had were a lifetime ago. I've had ten years to get to where I am. And as far as I know, he's still a ghost. You wouldn't be the first crew member I had with daddy issues. Tell me about the Hugo Gernsback and what it was doing. Privately held frigate. I looked over the mission brief when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, and establish as large a presence as you can as fast as possible to shut out competitors. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. Okay, as long as it's not on Ilium. <laughs> Morden, do we have new stuff we can get? Biotic damage. Yes, for the biotics we have on the ship. Heavy skin weave. Shepard gets 20% more health. Retrain powers. Oh, heavy bone weave. 50% less damage from melee attacks. Good for the husks. Yeah. This one needs a heavy skin weave. Retrain powers. Reallocate points. Yeah, okay. Not necessary. <laughs> if we walk around in a freaking collector armor, wouldn't that be so scary? Actually though, this is better than the Terminus system armor, right? Let's do it, let's try it out. <laughs> we have a lot of palladium now anyway. Hey Morden. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Later, updating crew dental records. All Cerberus personnel have cyanide capsules and molars. Oh. Primitive. Ocular nerve flashbangs harder to disarm. Anything else? Do I have that? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Cyanide capsule? Wow. Everyone feels like they're really into this whole thing. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Already? I'm just gonna try the... Collector armor. 
The stats are better than this one. And this one looks kind of... I mean, it's alright, I guess. Wait, does this have more? Oh! Okay, I misunderstood. Increase shields by 15, increase all weapons, reserve ammo by 10. Okay, we'll eventually try it out too then. Mm. So each full set of arm- Oh my god, this one- <laughs> This one looks hilarious. Yep. Cutting this armor. Flexible and tougher than ballistic fibers. Organic construction is self-healing. Okay, well, why not give it a try? And I'll try the other one too. We just gotta get some time. You- You lied to me, Kelly! Again! How could you do this to me? You lied. You oh! Feed you again. Wait! Is that okay? Am I overfeeding my fish by doing this? I hope not. Okay. Let's go back to following that one side quest that we were following the whole time. No messages for you, Commander. You're a liar. You are a liar. Kelly. Horizon. Iera. Oh, where the, where the hell even are we? Oh my god. Wait. Horizon. A temperate world that has hit the sweet spot for carbon-based life. It even looks like Earth. The coloring. Mm, nitrogen, oxygen, atmosphere. Native plants aren't very palatable to humans, but the soil conditions are such that... Uh, a handful of introduced Earth species have flourished, and the colonists have got to take care of it to prevent ecological disasters. Genetically engineered terminator seeds, grow nutritious but sterile crops to minimize outbreaks, are the rule rather than the exception. Animals on horizon explode in diversity, similar to Earth's Cambrian period. Animals? We didn't see a single animal. Large flying insect analogs take advantage of the thicker than Earth atmosphere and low gravity to grow enormous. That sounds like a collector. Microbial life has proven relatively benign. You know, vaccinations is all you need for a visit. Ah, a planet named Horizon and the capital is named Discovery. Population, relatively small. Hmm, it's a pretty new colony. Okay, I don't know where we are. Iera. Venture, a pressure cooker of a planet. Its thick nitrogen-based atmosphere is also the source of wealth for small colonist industry. High temperatures, but it's not as acidic as on other hothouse planets, and xenon can be readily collected and isolated from the lower troposphere by recovery bots. So good for getting resources too. Probe away. I think I have like way too many resources already, but we can try to see how many we can get by the end of this. <laughs> We should sell this to somebody, seriously. I don't want to be poor. Prospect. These names are very Englishy. 13 known moons. Mm -hmm. Resource heavy. In a tragic turn of events, a galactic uranium surplus drove half the mining firms out of business, and the surfaces of some moons are littered with the bodies of executives who committed suicide by airlock. Oh, wow. Wait, what? Oh, because. A surplus means that the prices have gone down? Oh my god. Today's mining corporations have reached a much more palatable equilibrium and hold more diverse and sustainable portfolios. It's within the frost line of its solar system where ice giants do not normally form. It is an extra solar capture. Again, not oh, really gosh. too sure what that entails. But it sounds like it means it doesn't come from the system, it's not native. It's a foreigner. It's an alien! Watchman is a mid-sized rock and ice planet that has picked up a dozen moon-sized objects. Its atmosphere is too thin to support life and solid ice surface. Yada yada yada. Footprints of the first surveying teams to come to the planet can still be seen on its practically airless surface. The planet, devoid of valuable resources, has seen few visitors since. Cold and icy. Probe away. 